Leader of the Official Opposition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to share a story about a community coming together to support someone after a significant loss. This is the story of Mike Grisdale. He's a custodian who has worked hard and given a lot to our community. He's been supporting his wife through a serious disease and praying for her to receive a liver transplant. To help him support his wife and re relieve some of the stress of work, Mike spent time in his shed focusing on woodworking projects. Unfortunately, in September, tragedy struck when Mike's shed caught fire and burned to the ground. Mr. Speaker, this was absolutely devastating to Mike and his wife, but Prince George had Mike's back. After his story was shared on social media, people throughout our community heard about what happened and pitched in to help. David Mothis and Caleb Wilson stepped up, partnered with Primus Electric to ensure Mike got a new shed. And whether it was people making small donations or actually getting a crane to place, uh, to place the replacement shed, Prince George was there to support Mike. Mr. Speaker, you should have seen how this impacted Mike and his wife, the outpouring of love and generosity. Seeing a brand new shed with brand new tools, courtesy of his friends, neighbors, and even complete strangers, meant the world to him. And sticking up for those facing hard times in our community means the world to us in Prince George. As people across the province are facing grief and loss, whether from the past year and a half of the pandemic, the heat dome earlier this summer, or the terrible flooding and landslides this week, it's so important to remember how British Columbians come together to help one another. Whether it's a major natural disaster or a man's shed lost in a fire, British Columbians have each other's back. I am so proud of how we support our neighbours in this province, and the story of Mike represents just how we do that. Thank you, Prince George.